Next, the TV talent show reinvented for the 21st century. Every so often, a show will come out and you will go out down the pub and the show that you've watched will be the talking point the rest of your Saturday night. Pop Idol was one of those. It's a great opportunity for new talent. I wish that was around when I started. The net was cast wide in the search for that new talent, starting with 7,000 auditions. And the boy I brought, the light was gone. I give me a love in me. I'm not being rude, but you have the worst verse I've heard in my life. Okay. The fascination was just how many people had this incredible self belief that they really were hugely talented, were going to be very famous. Without any talent whatsoever. Oh, you're meant to enjoy. You can hang out with all the boys. I think we got the picture. <laughs> and then you got the amazing people that walked through the door. What is your name? Um, I just want to say first, uh, uh, I have a stammer, you know, so I'm finding it hard. Um, what you saw on TV was only a small part of how difficult that audition was. We had to edit it down because it went on a lot longer. Just, just relax. Okay, just relax. Thank you. It was painful. Uh, my name is... Uh, Gareth Gates. And then he sang. Everybody's looking for that something. Just one thing. And you knew that they'd discovered someone pretty special and he was gonna he's gonna last the course. Fight it in the for all the hopefuls, following the pop idol dream meant surviving the scrutiny of the judges, and in particular, the rudest man in pop. Simon Cow. Pop Idol is a shortcut to stardom. You can go from obscurity to household name and a millionaire within three months. Oh, God. If along the way, you've got to take a little bit of criticism. I didn't think it was any way good enough. That's not a bad deal, is it? Honestly, it was bad. His excuse is, I'm just being honest and I'm telling, telling them what you're all thinking at home. You had a chance to shine, you totally didn't. That's it. Which, to a certain extent, is right, but then other times, you know, um, he does a lot of it for effect. He must lie in bed. Yeah, I'm sure he does. You know, I want a Ferrari and you're like a scored up. Yeah, I'll keep that yeah, one. I love that Actually, one. that's one of my favourite songs of all time. Not I anymore. Do. Come on, baby, like my fire. But one aspiring pop idol Come refused on, to be intimidated by the cow scowl. Step forward, the previously unheralded William Young. Fire. Um, William. Okay. Distinctly average. It was a brilliant moment of TV. I just Not for spoke you. as I Sorry, felt, I, so you I, do the same. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Posh boy suddenly stood up and went, you know, no, you cannot say that, Mr Cowell. It is your opinion. I don't agree with it. I don't think it was average. I don't think you could ever call that average. And then he just went from strength to strength to strength. And then my dad would have been sitting there going, I'll well, take him up, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Annabelle, get the shotgun. <laughs> And 11 weeks later, it was Will battling it out with the bookies' hot favourite, Gareth, in the grand final. Amazing studio, the final. Probably the most intense and excited studio yeah. we've ever been in. Half of Britain were watching this. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? And we were waiting. We didn't know. We were waiting for Ant and Dec to tell us. This is it. Time is up. The moment the nation has been waiting for, we have the results. I remember coming in about here, and I looked at Declan, and we both kind of went, oh, don't make it obvious! He went, don't look so surprised! Yeah. The winner of Pop Idol is... Will! <laughs> and when Will did that shot of a... Oh, just a really electric bit of telly, and it was a pleasure to be a part of it.